I've received a number of questions recently about how to record with effects, how to record dry but monitor with effects, or I can't hear my effects while I'm recording. So let's take a look at some different scenarios. Let's say I kind of have recorded a scratch audio track and I've dialed in kind of a sound that I like on a VST bass amp effect plugin. And I have this as an insert on my audio channel. So we'll come and listen. All right, so let's say I want to record now and I want to hear that effect while tracking. So I will place this track into record. So I don't hear the effect while I record it, but let's go ahead and just rewind. And now that I'm done recording, all right, so we hear the effect after it's been recorded, but not during recording. Why? It's probably because we go to your studio menu to studio setup. We're going to select your audio interface and we want to turn off direct monitoring. Some audio interfaces like Steinberg UR or AXR series have built in DSP that we could monitor effects on from the audio interface in real time without latency. But if we wanted to monitor software VST plugins, we would need to have direct monitoring turned off. What direct monitoring does is it basically passes the input signal directly to the output signal of the hardware so that we can monitor without latency. But again, but when it does that, it bypasses the internal audio engine bypassing the effects. So if I wanted to hear the effects while recording, I will now turn off direct monitoring. <laughs> All right, so now we heard the effect while recording that now that direct monitoring is turned off. And reason why sometimes people turn direct monitoring on is because some plugins can add a lot of latency when tracking. A lot of plugins can work in like a zero latency mode or have latency so small it's not really apparent. But now we listen to the file, to the recording. <laughs> And let's go ahead and bypass the insert here on that track. And we'll notice that the recording is actually without the effect and it was recorded dry, but it's being played back through the effect. So how do I embed the effect into the recording itself so that it is recorded with the effect on it? So to do this, we want to go to your input channels and we see these red channels and these will match whatever inputs that we have defined in our audio connections. So right now I have one mono input. So we'll go to the, and if you don't see the input channels here, try clicking on these three dots in your mix console and then you could just simply make sure if you click right here on the filter channel types that the input channels aren't being filtered off. So we have our input channels. I'm gonna to go to my insert effects. And what I want to do is just to drag that insert that I had on a channel, I'm gonna drag it to my input channel. And we will come over and turn this on. So we'll have this on the input channel itself as opposed to the audio channel. So I will go ahead and record. So we hear the effect and this is on the input channel, but I'll go ahead and bypass it anyway. And let's say we listen to it now. Over. 
Now that effect is on embedded into the audio file and we can't take it out. It's embedded, it's cooked into the audio file itself. Now, sometimes you may want to create a situation where maybe you didn't like the effect and someone was recording and you wanted to record a dry signal in addition to an affected signal on the same source. Is that possible? So what we want to do is go to our audio connections and I'm gonna add a bus, let's say another mono bus. And what I'm going to do is for our mono in two, I'm gonna just add the same physical connector. So we have the same input connection for our mono in and mono in two is the same physical connection. So I will add an audio track and we'll make sure it's mono and then we could just call this our DI track. And I want to set its input to mono in two. So this track is mono in where we have the insert effect of the VST bass amp. And I'll just relabel this. But this input channel that's routed to this track has no effect on it. So let's go ahead and record. So we're going to take the same physical input connection and record one without effects and one with effects. And now we'll listen to the results. So our two tracks, so one will have the VST bass amp embedded into the recording. So we come over here, we'll listen to our top track, which will have the VST bass amp with the phaser on it. And this one is recorded dry. You notes from the same exact input. So while we're playing, we could just switch between our dry and our affected channel. So as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility to recording with effects, monitoring with effects, when you do tracking in Cubase with software plugins. If you've found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.